Hey guys, what's up? Um, today I kind of had something, like it's been on my mind for actually the last couple of days, but today I just kind of got fed up with it and got really super pissed off. PETA. I've always hated fanatical like groups that are all like, oh you need to do this, 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 and this in my life and we're gonna throw paint on you because you're wearing fur or leather or something. Fuck you, PETA. There are eight different things that I want to get, talk to you guys about because PETA has pissed me off so much. Co-founder and president Ingrid Newark has described the group's overall goal as total animal liberation, but that means you can't have meat, you can't have milk, there can't be any zoos, no circuses, no wool. No leather, no hunting, no fishing, and no pets. And that even means seeing eye dogs. For torment restaurant owners, grocers, farmers, scientists, anglers, and countless other types of Americans who use animals in everyday life is full of ignorant hypocrites. I am sorry. But yet, they've killed over 14,400 animals, being dogs and cats, in their New Folk, Virginia, little area headquarters thing. In 2005, they put to death over 90% of their animals collected from members of the public. And their, their reason for this was they were not capable of reteaching the animals to be tame so they can be family pets. It's, to me, that's just horrible. Why, why would you do that? If you're against animal abuse and if you're against killing animals or eating them, why the hell would you line these animals up? 90% of these animals that they collected in 2005 died. It's given tens of thousands of dollars to convicted criminals arsonists and other types of violent things. In 2001 they donated $1,500 to the North American Earth Liberation Front, which is an FBI certified domestic terrorist group. They are responsible for dozens of terrorist threats and actual deaths. In the 1900s, PETA paid $70,200 to pay this animal liberation front activist group to burn down Michigan State University's research laboratory? That's right in my home state. In sentencing, a federal prosecutor implicated that PETA President Ingrid Newark was main person of that crime. That just makes me sick. A vegetarian group activist for PETA has been brought to say, this is an exact quote people, blowing stuff up and smashing windows is a great way to bring about animal liberation. Thing. PETA has targeted children from like little kids as young as six years old to like not eat meat and not drink milk. And they're often waiting outside schools to hand out like flyers and intercept them as they're walking from class to class. And they're like, your mom kills animals. That's pretty much what they say. And it's just wrong. They hand out flyers saying your mom kills animals. PETA also has been known to attack religious people, like churches and stuff. Um, one website that they have is strictly for attacking different religious groups. They insist that Jewish, uh, when they actually do the ritual of kosher slaughters, that it shouldn't be allowed. But this thing with the whole holocaust on your plate insists that Jewish victims of the Nazi genocide, they compare it with freaking farm animals and how we slaughter, we line up animals for the slaughter. They attacked different groups like March of Dimes, the Pediatric AIDS Foundation, and American Cancer Society, all because they are based around animal research. Here is an actual quote from Ingrid, 
Ingrid Newark, or however the fuck you pronounce her name. Even if animal research results in a cure for AIDS, we would still be against it. The reason that I'm so pissed off at PETA is because, according to BuzzFeed.com, PETA has released a Pokemon game called Pokemon Black and Blue. They think that Pokemon Black and Blue is where Pokemon rise up against cruel masters, the trainers, and they battle for their freedom. Director of marketing for PETA, PETA Joel Bartlett, has this to say about the game. Games like Pokemon send kids the wrong message about exploiting and abusing those who are defenseless and acceptable when it's not. So I've actually played the Pokemon game and it's actually really fun. It's it's actually like a normal Pokemon game where you actually get to attack and use all the different Poke powers. But at the same time it sucks. Like Ash seems to almost be drunk when you get to his character. There's Professor Jupiter and she's like cracked out. And it's just so sad that it's, it makes me angry. It's given a bad name to Pokemon and I hope Nintendo sues the fuck out of PETA because it's just, it's a little kids show.